during driver installation and benchmarking the system, the video car dock sometimes was switched off because this power adapter can produce about 15-20 watts on output and it's not enough for this video card while benchmarking or gaming this video card consumption is about 49 watts as soon as I found this 90 watt power supply which I connected to the video card dock I get rid of all these issues and system right now running pretty stable I can run any benchmark without any problems this desktop power supply have 200 watts on output but since this video card do not require any additional power which connects to the dock and then to the video card it it's just doesn't work right together with this power supply this is what I noticed at the beginning I was thinking that something is wrong with the power supply itself and the system is not running stable but this power supply is tested in the desktop systems and it doesn't have any problems so if you have a video card which do not require any additional power which uses this connection from the power supply which connects right here and then from here to the video card itself you just don't need to use such type of power supply because the system not gonna be running stable while you will benchmark or play games that's why try to find the power supply which have about 90 watts or more depends on the video card as you can see since it's a 49 watts this is 90 watts the system running very stable let's run the benchmarks With this power adapter, it was switching off after 15 seconds of benchmarking. And with this one as well. Since it doesn't use, this video card doesn't use this, it just doesn't work right with such type of power supplies. Running it on 49 Celsius, which is pretty good, 7 FPS. As you can see, doesn't shut down everything working
Right, I will pause the video. It will take some time for the final benchmark results. This video card, which is MSI NVIDIA GTS 730, running pretty good with this Core to Duo processor. Right, let's pause the video. Those are the final results for Unique Heaven benchmark for zero. You can see this processor, which is Core to Duo and both video cards they integrated and the one that we have on a external dependent video card dock let's let's run another benchmarks Skydiver Looks like the video card getting its maximum. 50 watts or even maybe more. Since the power supply is 90, nothing doesn't switch off. Running pretty stable. Oh, this is the graphic test from the Skydiver. Physics test. This was eGPU, which is MSI JT730 on Dell Inspiron 1545 with Core to Duo processor. 